So I've just done a little video uh, demonstrating a simple non-green screen virtual set in vMix. And then I've changed my recording from to MPEG from MP4 to see the difference in size and quality and stuff like that. It's just part of the process of constantly experimenting. So this is my virtual set. Uh, as you can see, you can zoom in and out like all the virtual sets. It doesn't use a green screen though. It does, you see that all I've done is um, made the set shape into a single PNG image and leave a transparency for me to pop in. See that? So that's all much a lot of fun. So then I've got my actual main content or interviewee or um, you know some videos that I'm referring to can go into that on and off into there that could would most likely start the video is but it is a bit over the top having two televisions but it's the image is there just in case uh, something disappears the, the, the one I like the best is this little guy here so what's on there at the moment is just capturing my second monitor which I'm looking at right now which is my vmix monitor so I've done that and I've cropped it out in the UV mapping uh, process and also done it at about 60% transparency. So it does give the um, impression of being in behind that television, the old TV vibe. So that'll be for a novel uh, logo or, or a little bit of something fun just in the corner of the shop. Uh, you could also have another guest in there if you wanted to, if you want to have it do a double zoom and have people all over the place just for a change. Uh, there's two other ones. I'll put these off. There's two other ones I popped in there, and that's just for any other um, stuff in the future that needs to be brought up to reference. Uh, this set is for a small news show, so there may be some images that need to be put into there. So you can also you can also UV map it so you can split an image between these two sides. Could be a nice effect. Anyway, that's all uh, for now, and goodbye.